everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. This is number four of my creative card season, um, season series. Um, and those of you that have been watching so far, I hope you've been enjoying it. This one um, I'm really happy with. Um, I've done a nice envelope for it. And this is the double slider card, but mine comes with a stand. So with a lot of these creative cards, because they've got the mechanism and everything, you know, you kind of do whatever it is that, that, that they do and not all of them stand up and this one from videos I've seen none of them stood up you kind of just then lie them flat so this I've also done as a male card because a lot of my cards I do are female and a lot of generally a lot of the videos online are female um, girl cards so I thought I'd do these ones as masculine cards um, so it comes out of the envelope which is uh, four and a half by six on the envelope score uh, punch board. Four and a half by six. Yes, yeah, so it's eight and a half by eight and a half card scoring on the three and three quarters. Um, again, I'll pop all those um, bits and pieces into my blog. But basically, so it comes out and it's already there. Um, uh, it's all kind of in. Um, fixed on the, the stand so it sits up nicely and then all you do is you just pull it out and it reveals this I've used the papers are all my Mr. Mister from Do Crafts I love these papers so any um, you know masculine uh, boys male um, man boys male <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying masculine cards um, they're brilliant they're all double sided You've got metal there, um, food, maps, letters, got games, arcade games, computers, the ones there, good for Father's Day, dad cards, there's, there's loads. They are really, really good. So if you can get your hands on them, again, I'll share the links um, to all these bits and pieces, um, but that's those are really good. And again, my favourite, well, one of my favourites, I've got lots of favourites, but this is one of my favourites. It's an unbranded die. Again, I'll share all these links, but the, it's just brilliant. It's just really nice, and it works for, with a lot of product um, projects. And what I've done is I just die cut it three times, and it just gives it a really nice raised. I don't know how well it's coming up on the camera, but really nice uh, raised effect. So it's just another ni nice dimension. Um, I've used the wood here, which I thought was nice, and then you've got wine and Guinness and burgers and pies and all those things that generally guys like. A um, couple of little sentiments there that I've popped on, the, on each side and then what you can do on the back, you can see it's all really nice from the back as well, but you could put um, on this piece here, put a white piece of card and you could write your message um, on the back there. So I'll probably do that. I don't know who I'm going to give this one to yet. It's just going in my stash of cards and then you just very carefully just push them back in again. So I've reinforced this and there you have it and it just sits up so it's a really nice really flush nice working little slider card and I'm really pleased with it and it is very very easy again I've done the hard work for you I've looked at videos and I've kind of taken elements of different ones the measurements are all my own and this design is all my own I've just got inspired you know inspired by other people's videos um, and again, some of them were, were pretty scary when you look at them and I just thought, oh God, no. Um, so I hope again that I've made this one nice and clear. So, um, this is what you're going to need. So, let me just grab my scoreboard. And I'm using my trusty craft card today because I love it and it works really good with... Um, if you've got a mechanism and stuff, because you need that, um, you need that strong card, which is why I've reinforced the two pieces here, um, to be able to kind of push it in and out without the card bending. So um, this craft card was was really really good for this. So you will need your main piece for your stand and for the front of the card, and this piece measures uh, four and a half by eleven. I'll go through the scoring all in a minute. So you need four and a half by eleven for that piece. You then need. This is for your front um, piece with the sentiment that's going to sit on top. And this piece is, sorry, I'm just going through all of my, uh, I don't think I've put the measurement down for that one. So that one's four and a half square. It's four and a half by four and a half. The decoration then to go on top of that is four and one eight, um, eighth of an inch uh, square. So four and one eight by four and one eight. 
and that will just sit nicely on top and then again I've die cut the um, sentiment there that I showed you before three times and it just again gives it a really really nice um, element to the card so that is already pre-done and ready to go then for your actual tabs that you're going to pull out each side okay so these ones measure three and a half let me just check yep three and a half by four and a quarter and you need two of those and then for the tab decoration these measure four by three and a quarter and again you need two of them okay I have um, corner punched one side of them do that now if you want otherwise I'll talk you through that bit in a minute then for the actual mechanism piece is just this piece of card here and this measures four and a quarter by four and a quarter and then just to reinforce the tabs so these pieces are this piece here on each of the back of the front tabs and these measure four and a half by two and a half okay then you need a piece of plastic so I've got this piece here um, you can use sandwich bags, you can use, um, if you can, you want um, a plastic that's not going to be noisy. So, um, you know, like a carrier bag plastic, that's not going to be any good. Um, but this is from a piece of packaging. I think it, I had uh, some cardstock in it. Um, so it's perfect. So as long as it's strong enough, um, don't go out, you know, thinking you've got to go and buy special plastic. You could probably find most of this on the packaging from when you do your grocery shopping. Um, and or like a, a plastic sleeve would be okay. Um, I think that would work actually. Um, so you could, if you've got any plastic sleeves right, um, uh, lying around. Once we get to it and you see what I'm going to do with it, then you'll be able to kind of decide where you can get this from. Um, so this is just inexpensive, but this measures at eight by three and a half so I'm just trying to see it there in the light yeah three and a half by eight check I've got all this in view yeah I have okay so eight by three and a half then you need some um, if you've got foam um, strips you know like on a I've got it on a roll but it's too thick so um, you need it to be what have I got it about a quarter of an inch um, so I've just got these square ones and I've just gone up and cut I'll just show you there, just cutting up between so I get the, the, the thickness that I need um, and then I've got loads that I can just take off and again when we get to that bit that will make a bit more sense. So first of all there's only two little bits of scoring that we need to do and that's on the mechanism and on the actual stand so with your four and a half by eleven piece of cardstock you're going to score along the 11 inch side and you're going to score at four and a half, nine, nine and seven eighths of an inch and ten and three quarters and you'll be left with just a one um, quarter of an inch um, tab at the end which is all you need. Okay so that's just the scoring for that one and then for the mechanism piece which is that four and a quarter by four and a quarter square um, piece of card what you want to do is along the again just make sure you can see all this here so you want to go in at three eighths of an inch so one two three and you just want to score down to three eighths of an inch on the other side there so if you don't have anything here with a little dial what you can do is just line it up to another so just line it up onto your um, four inches for example grab your ruler and put your ruler on the, the corner there and then just bring it down to three quarters okay so just score down to three quarters there and then go along to three and seven eighths of an inch and again score down just that three eighths of an inch okay then turn the card around and do that again on that other side so just score down and again score down and then put the card on the other side and then you can just join up if you go along to three eighths of an inch and just start from that score line and just join up those two and again go down to the three and seven eighths and just join them up. I'm just going to stand up so I've got that in so you can see there what I've done. Just focus in there for you. There we go. So you just you score down 
to uh, three eighths of, of the way and again score down three eighths of the way and then you're just joining that up and what we're going to do now is we're going to cut that piece out there and we're going to cut that piece out there okay let me focus back in again there we go so get rid of your scoreboard that's every bit of scoring done get rid of the ruler and what we can do now is just cut that piece out whilst we've got it so you just want to cut up each side like so and all this is doing because I've watched some videos and some people didn't do this and they just left it on the, the square this just keeps your plastic in place it stops it sliding off course um, there's nothing worse than when you, you you know you've done the whole card um, and if you don't do this particular way and it falls out underneath you'd have to just throw the card away because you won't be able to get back into it because of everything else that's stuck down on top so at least this way there's no there's no chance of that plastic um, escaping so that is what you then want to have that's the shape that you need okay so pop that to one side and then grab your um, your stand your main piece of card and just burnish all of those um, score lines what you want to do when you fold so you've got you've just folded those two fold that one down and then the next one fold up so you're creating like a valley um, sorry a mountain fold and then that bottom one will be the valley fold so you're just going to fold that one over now I've already put my red tape on this you just need a strong tape because this obviously is going to hold everything together so like so I'll just take that piece off and then you just want to neatly grab my pokey tool so I can keep that, keep that down. If I start on that corner first, and you just basically it will all fall into place nicely, so you don't need to worry about lining it all up. And there you go. And that piece there, if you do want to be picky um, with the where the seam is, have that as your back. And then your front is just nice and flush all the way around. And that is the stand. So again, folds nice and flat, ready to be put in the envelope. And then it will just naturally kind of unfold um, into a nice stand for you. Okay, so that's easy. That's done. Let's go back to the mechanism bit. So grab your plastic. And what you want to do, pop your mechanism over the top. And your plastic should just fit in nicely between that gap. And then all you're going to do is we're going to be sticking that over the top. So at one of the edges, use this one here that we've just folded over. You're just going to pop a bit of tape on the end, like so. I'm going to make sure none of the stickiness goes over the edges. If it does, cut it away, because otherwise if, it's, if it catches and sticks onto the, the bottom of the card, it will stop the mechanism. So just run your finger over, and if you feel any stickiness, just make sure you cut that away. I think I'm okay. Might be a little, little, little bit. Just remove that bit. Try. Uh, I think that's okay. Okay, Dick. So... Put it over the top like this and then remove that piece of double sided tape. Now what you want to do, when you go to fold this over, is you want to make it tight but not really, really tight. So just kind of, just a nice kind of fold over, don't like really pull it taut or anything. And then you just want to join that other piece over the top. And again, just make sure there's no stickiness coming through at all. If there is, just shear it off. I can feel a tiny little bit on that end there. You have to be careful, don't ruin these scissors. With all this, I have to end up cleaning them again, never mind. And then with this flappy bit, you just want to cut that off. It's easier to have a piece, you know, have it a bit longer than exact. Um, and there you have that piece there and basically now just test it you want that to just be able to roll nicely around that there okay like 
like so. Now, this piece here, obviously when it goes around the corners, it slows down slightly, but one way of stopping that happening is if you just line it up so it's on the far left, and then when we come to stick it all down, it will all make sense. Um, if you do it this way, it means it won't ever make it around that other side, so it won't need to go around the corner, so you just get a nice slide. So that's how you want that piece. So now you need your tabs and your reinforced pieces as well. So I put these pieces on first and basically that's just gonna sit right in the middle with the bottoms there flush. So you've just got a little quarter of an inch um, tab hanging out the top there and that's for you to pull. Um, I've corner punched all of my edges there and again, opposite um, sides, make sure you corner punch. So corner punch on the left of one and on the right of the other. So what I would do is, so you know that you're gonna get a nice, um, get them stuck down properly, sorry, you probably best, lining them up, grab your pencil and just put a little, faint little pencil line, something you could rub out, you're not really gonna see it. And it just means that you know you can stick all the way down. So I'm just gonna run that along the top. Sorry about that banging. Um, there's still minor reserva um, reservations, <laughs> renovation works going on above. It's not so bad now, it's just light, um, light hammering. But um, that's what it is. So I'll show you this one and then I'll whiz through the other ones. Again, any snail will be fine with this. I wouldn't use I guess you can if it's like Tombow and stuff, but I wouldn't really use wet glue because you need all of these um, pieces of card to stay nice and flat. And with a lot of the wet glues, they end, you know, they end up warping um, the card. And um, you know, if you've got your tabs and stuff and they're all slightly warped, it just wouldn't look right. So that's that all stuck. Just new roll so I've got a piece missing there that'd be fine it's still stick down okay and then again just line it over if you lie that on the top and just kind of eyeball so that it's nice and central like so and then it should again just line up nicely on the bottom and then what you can do is just rub out any pencil marks you've got there Okay, and then I've got this piece here that I've already put this tape on. Again, the decoration's entirely up to you, but generally we mount mount everything anyway, so I've given you those measurements. And again, just line this one up so you get a nice even, like one eighth of an inch border, like so. And that's your first, in this case, the left hand tab. I'm sorry, the right hand tab, side tab, done. Okay, so you want to repeat that process, but obviously all on the opposite side with your left hand tab and um, and then we can crack on and put it all together okay so I'm going to finish this one off okay so that is both of my tabs done now so they're going to obviously pull out like this now what you need to do is start with so my right hand one first just want to run some double sided tape right along the bottom piece there and just take that off and then so where I said before, with this piece of your plastic with your double-sided tape on, you basically want to line this up over the top of that so that this tab is completely flush with the end of this mechanism, this cardboard piece. Okay, so like so. And then just to check you've got nothing sticky, just kind of roll it along like that. You can, I can see that. Okay, so sticky. now with your left-hand tab, you want to stick your double sided tape on the top of it, so not on the bottom, on the top. Okay. And then, so with it facing this way and your tab, your pulley bit and everything all on your right hand side, just flip it over and then you're going to stick this piece flush with this end, like so because it's on plastic you can peel it off if you're not happy I just want to make sure I've got it completely in line there we go 
like so. Turn it over and then as you push and pull you feel something sticking. Oh no it's not, it's just that piece there, that's fine. And that is your mechanism. So pretty easy? I think so. So now what you want to do is turn it over and with your foam you're going to run it along the top of these two um, strips. So we'll start with this one. So I've got it, mine's a little bit obviously fiddly because I don't have that long. The only reason I don't buy the long stuff, I think it's brilliant, I think it's so expensive for a small amount that you get. Um, whereas this was from the pound shop I believe and I got 320 squares for a pound or 99p um, so I would rather just do this little fiddly bit you know um, than pay for the, uh, the strips um, that's my personal view anyway so if I can make these things as cheap as possible but look as good then I'm happy and then again, just line, um, line, just run it along so the bottom one. So that's the back all done. So you just want to go along, unpeel all of these. Okay. Then grab your stand, and basically you're going to line the top and the bottom up with the top and the bottom of the card. Make sure you've got a nice even border on each side. As long as it's straight, that's the main thing. Like so, you can see that I've got a nice, even kind of, um, you know, it's as central as I can get it, and I've got an even uh, top and bottom there as well. Okay, now what you want to do is stick your foam on the top of that mechanism. So just the same as what we've done, but on okay, the other side. Okay, so that's side. that all done. So grab your top piece of um, your front card. And you're basically going to line it up with this back, you know, the, the stand card, not the mechanism. So it's exactly the same size as this stand. So you just basically want to line it right over. So if you just do one corner and just keep it as straight as possible, you know, then do the top first, stick that down, and then it will just fall nicely on the bottom. Like so. And now, there is your card. And that's really strong, it's really neat, it's really tidy, it stands up, and it, I think it looks So all I'm going to do now is stick my top one on. I'm not going to put anything on these bits, because I don't know who I'm going to give it to. Um, so until, I, until I've decided, I might want to personalise it. So um, for now, I'm just going to leave this big main one. Um, so again, just lining it up there, get a nice even border. Uh, but the reason I've done these masculine ones as well is I just thought, you know, guys like toys and I just thought it's a, you know, it's a toy kind of card. Um, it's a, you know, a little bit different from the norm, so get rid of any sticky bit there. And there we go. So I absolutely love them. I think they are really fun cards. This one's a little bit stiffer. Um, but it's, I mean, it still works fine. I think if anything, you move it around a bit and loosen up, it'll be okay. But, um, I mean, there you have it. Two super fun double slider cards with stand. So I hope you, hope you enjoyed number four of my creative card um, series. And um, please hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. Or subscribe to the channel and then you will get to see the rest of the series and many more lovely things I make. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.